Welcome back to Everyday Hockey, presented by DraftKings, the leader in daily fantasy sport. Don't forget to use promo code THPN upon sign up for a bonus. And if you're a regular user, plug that promo code in for a weekly deal. Today, we talk about Joel Erickson X signing an extension with the Minnesota Wild. Let's get to the nitty gritty. All right, Dylan, Joel Erickson X signs an eight-year extension with the Minnesota Wild. Before we talk about the player, let's dive into the contract. Yeah, unbelievable deal. Did not expect an eight-year contract. I, I really do wonder if Billy Guerin used the promo code THPN <laughs> when he got this deal done because it is unreal. Eight years, I was expecting a five-year deal. The money, I'm okay with. 5.25 per season is right on par for a guy like Erickson X. I think our projections when we were talking about this on our respected podcast were between my four, podcast is not respectable between between four and five million dollars cap hit that's what we projected eric Snack to get yeah you look at the comps around the league that's what we were expecting but like i said it's the eight years we've seen other players that are very comparable to eric Snack as far as their age as far as where they're drafted how many games they play yeah their production their, to, to a certain degree yeah their role on the team you know second or third line center yep. let's look at a bo horvat you know this guy had two 20 goal seasons before he signs his deal and i believe that was a five million dollar deal but at only i think four or five years so that's where the big difference comes in for me it's a risky deal to lock up a guy like this for eight years and i think the risk comes with the fact that he we're not scared that he's not going to play his game you know he's, he's going to sign this deal then you know diminish and not score you know close to 20 goals again because you know he was on the quote-unquote third line he was he pretty much led the shutdown line and he was getting the harder matchups this year with, you know, big, big players on his wings and he still scored 19 goals. So there is that offensive flair there, but he got paid. He got locked up first and foremost because of his defensive game, top 10 defender, offensive defender in the league. And he was fourth in Selkie voting this year. Yeah. Fourth in Selkie voting. I think it says it all right there. And he's just a unique asset, right? I mean, how many players in the league can play the defensive game like he can, but also be a threat on the offensive side of the ice. Not many guys can do that. No, that's true. And it's so funny because Eric Sinek, he's got this baby face. You know, he doesn't look like a monster out there. He doesn't look like a player that you would fear, you know, like a... But you just want to slap it around a little. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Every player, and there have even been polls on this in, in The Athletic, for example. He is not necessarily the hardest player to play against, according to the players, though I'm sure he pisses them off with his you know defensive abilities. But he's one of the most hated players. You know, you see in between whistles, players do want to slap that grin off his face. Rumor has it John Tortorella has actually uh, made a leap at Eric Snack <laughs> once. <laughs> um, but Eric Snack, one of the hardest working, I, I, I was going to say Minnesota Wild players, but I'd argue one of the hardest working National Hockey League players. He, he's coined the name Mr. September. I mean, there's a shirt, shout out Soda Sticks in, Min in Minnesota, <laughs> who has a shirt with him riding the bike, Mr. September, because he blows off all the training camp fitness tests out of the water. Apparently, Bruce Boudreau and him had a funny relationship when Bruce Boudreau was coaching the team because obviously Bruce Boudreau, I think even in his playing day, not the most athletic hockey player. And we've seen his love for the Hagen dazs uh, post-playing career and in his coaching career. They had a funny relationship because Bruce Boudreau was always blown away that it's September. We used to, in our days, Bruce Boudreau would say, you know, play the harp. This is where we would get in shape in training camp. You can Eric still smell the cigarette smoke. <laughs> and Eric Sinek comes just ready to play play so again throwing it back to his deal the risk with the eight years is i think him playing that hard style of game him being that hard worker putting his body through hell to be ready for an nhl season that's my concern that five years into this when the minnesota wild are ready to compete for a stanley cup that he may not be the player that he is today because his body just may be banged up one more thing i want to throw into the mix maybe billy billy garen isn't done here you know there's been rumors swirling around the minnesota wild and jack eichel and even sam reinhardt so if the wild could add another center a scoring center pure offensive guy and then you get uh, then you have someone like Erickson Eck behind him that's a pretty deadly offensive unit well, that that's such a good point and I think also that goes again we're talking about his contract that's another reason why Billy Guerin locked him up eight years it's like look if if Billy Guerin can't address that top center position and we're talking like even if it's a 60 to 70 point guy because in that case Erickson Eck and him can split the 1A and 1B uh center position and I still think Erickson Eck will get those harder shutdown matchups leaving then 
the quote unquote top line center to be able to work offensively, getting the easier out of the two matchups. But if Billy Garen can't go and acquire that top center, he's locked him up eight years. He knows he has a center, whether you want to call him the top center or not, he's going to get those matches. And that also is a little bit of a safety net if the likes of Marco Rossi, who, oh man, had a terrible year recovering from COVID-19, and then their young uh, Russian prospect, who's Nadinov, if they don't pop as, you know, top six centers in the National Hockey League and Billy Guerin doesn't, especially this year and next year, address that top center position, at least Eck is there. And then what you said, best case scenario, he locks up another top center. They have that 1A, 1B. And then if Marco Rossi and or Kuzandinov pop, holy crap, is that center possession or center position good to go for when they want to compete for Stanley Cup? Because, I mean, we can talk and we can swoon over the Minnesota Wild defense cores, one of the best in the league. And this year they've proven that their goaltending with Kakanen and Talbot is nothing to, you know, to overlook. Yeah, honestly, I never thought I'd say this, but exciting times for the Minnesota Wild. Yeah, you could even say that Billy G is uh, is an expert, and he. what I love about him before we close this out is he, he goes all in on the players that, that he believes he can win with. We saw him lock up Spurgeon seven years. We saw him lock up Brodeen six years, and now he's got his shutdown centerman for eight years. And talk about a connection with the fans, too. I mean, these are guys that the fans love. Right. Oh, great point. Spurgeon, like one of, in my opinion, one of the best captains, a silent captain who, you know, like Daniel and Hendrick Sedin, when they play in the league, when they speak, the locker room listens. Well, that's what the Minnesota fans like, right? The the quiet type, the the leader that kind of shows by example, Eric Sinek, you know, showing up in September in the best shape uh, all year. You know, those are the kind of guys that Minnesota fans like. Minnesota the Wild. blue collar fans, baby. <laughs> Minnesota Wild fans, they just can't, uh, they can't shake their defensive centers. They're going from Miko Koivu to Eric Sinek. <laughs> all right that's it for the video today tell us what rap albums were hanging in the studio in the comments below smash that like button and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video